Good morning. What do you have left when all of the main institutions of society have failed? Today our study takes us to Jeremiah 2 verses 26 through 28. As the thief is ashamed when he is found out, so is the house of Israel ashamed, they and their kings and their princes and their priests and their prophets, saying to a tree, You are my father, and to a stone, You gave birth to me. For they have turned their back to me, and not their face. But in the time of their trouble they will say, Arise and save us. But where are your gods that you have made for yourselves? Let them arise, if they can save you in the time of your trouble. For according to the number of your cities are your gods, O Judah. Ouch. So the leaders of God's people have all failed. And there they are listed. The kings, the princes, the priests, the prophets. They've all failed. Every part of the, every institution of the Hebrew society here has, has failed the people. They've all departed from God. They're oblivious. So when the leaders of God's people have failed, what do you have left? Mass idolatry. That's what you've got left. Polytheism. We go from the one God to the innumerable, to the many, supposedly many gods. And you really can't have any unity when you go to where people are worshiping different gods, you know, according to their fashion. And so you don't have any basis for a un united front as a, as a nation. But there were people, there were people who were sure, though, the, the ship of state will right itself, we'll get through this. It'll, we'll come back to normal at some point. Let's just ride it out. But there comes times when God must intervene. There's times when you cannot ride it out. If you wrote it out, you'd, you'd go over the edge. So God is now going to have to intervene in, in a very strong way. All the institutions have failed. And so, but God isn't ready to give up yet. So he's going to come on in spite of the priests, the kings, and, and the, whole, the whole crew against him. He's going to go come straight on and help his people. God has many lessons for us, and one of those lessons is don't trust in the different institutions. Really, you have God, you have the Bible. After that, the list is really short, things we can trust in, but we can always trust in Him. So remember, humans are designed as worshiping beings. We're going to worship something, so we really have choice A and choice B. Choice A is we worship the, the, the real God. Choice B is any other strange thing, dung beetles and, and whatever you'd like. I'm on the plan for choice A. I'm not up for dung beetles. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for watching over your people. Thank you that you uh, continue to persist even when one by one the institutions, the lights on go off and things go dark in the kingdom. Still, Lord, you are working to recover your people. Help us, Lord. Help us as Judah needed a strong interaction, Lord, to do what is needful for us. And we want to be on your side. Show us the way. Bring us back. Bring us back, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So God is still there. Let's turn to him. And let's walk out into this day knowing that we are seeking the true the truth of the God of heaven. He, he is for us. Have a wonderful day serving the Lord Jesus. Make sure you've subscribed uh, because we do come out with more videos than just the devotionals. From time to time, we, I bring other items that are, I think, important. And also, don't forget to leave a comment. We'd love to see your comments and see what you have to say.